Hello everyone and welcome to Werven's World and welcome to my 10 tips for new players of Domina. Domina is a gladiatorial fighting management sim which is really quite interesting but unfortunately there is really nothing explained in the game at all so it can be quite hard to get into. So I thought I would make this list of 10 tips for new players in order to help you get started. So let's begin. Tip number one, at the start of the game you will be met with this little window here that says proceed with tutorial or OK. I would suggest not to do the tutorial because basically it doesn't really give you anything, it doesn't really explain any of the mechanics unfortunately, but it does prevent you from using Jupiter's Blessings. And Jupiter's Blessings are really nice things that help you improve your gladiators, so without that you're being left at a disadvantage. So if you just press OK, then you immediately have the Legate and the Magistrate and here the Jupiter's Blessings, so you can immediately get started with the full game, because the tutorial doesn't explain you anything anyway. Tip number two, sometimes you get sent into battles that you basically cannot win. For that reason it's good to have some cannon fodder around. As you can see here at the moment I have four slaves with me that I haven't equipped at all. And that will help me when I get into such a match. Because I don't want to reject the terms so then I will just send in some slaves to die. And well I will still get some standing and coin and all that stuff without actually having to reject the match's terms. So having some of this fodder around is very handy. As you can see here, I just sent two slaves to their death because this was a match I was never going to win at the beginning of the game. Tip number three. At the beginning of the game, you can immediately hire employees. And employees, they will stand here in front of these doors, so you can have a maximum of three. And there's a couple that I would definitely suggest to hire. So you have here the button hire employees and then you, there are quite a lot of different ones. Some of them I would really consider essential. The first is the architect and uh, let's click on hire and then there is the faber which is also very very good. Normally at the beginning I will hire the medicus to help me with the healing of my soldiers but for example the bard might also be useful and uh, at the end of the game also Harrispex is very very strong. I haven't tried them all yet but at least these would be my suggestions so let's hire all of these. And now they are standing here. Now there's a couple of things that you want to do at the beginning of the game. First of all you want to go to the employee you already have, the Doctore, which is for the research. So you want to research stuff, but more importantly enable automatic gladiator training. Because normally you will have to right click your gladiators in order to start training their stats. However, if you put this one on auto it will just train all the gladiators and there's not really any situations where you don't want to have them training so just immediately clicking this on is very nice. Then if you have the Faber here you can research automatic upgrade. Then if you click on auto repair but also auto upgrade once it's available it will actually upgrade the equipment of your gladiators for free over time so that's quite nice. You also have the Medicus which you can put on auto healing so whenever someone is damaged it will automatically start healing them and then with the architect you can start building things for example if you build a palace um, it will help your gladiators uh, decrease their training time because they actually have a dummy to fight against but here the descriptions are actually quite helpful so you can have a look on what you want. Tip number four is somewhat related to the previous tip regarding the automatic upgrades. The pricing system in this game is a little bit weird. For example, as you can see here, we've got our pauldrons and we can upgrade them for two gold, six gold, and suddenly it's 60 gold. After this 60 gold, it's only 22 gold again. So the prices can vary in very interesting ways. And stopping before the expensive one then allows the Faber to automatically upgrade to the next expensive one and then you can continue upgrading the cheap ones again. So basically upgrading your soldiers until you get to a very expensive part that you don't really want to spend the money on and then just waiting for the Faber to upgrade that is a good way of saving a lot of money. Tip number five, even though the game has a way of controlling your gladiators in combat, I prefer not to do it and just really treat this as a management game. In order to do that, the first thing you want to do is if you get a new gladiator, is to train their meditate. So what you can do is put this slider on and put all the other ones, take the slider all the way to 100. So the only thing that they'll be doing is training their meditation. Once this one is done, as you can see here, now they start meditating. 
This actually goes quite fast. They level up their meditation fairly fast. So once this is done, the soldiers will be controlled by the AI much more efficiently. So they can be as strong as you want, but if your meditate is really bad, then the soldier basically doesn't know what to do with all its strength and it will still lose most matches. So meditating is really quite important. So if you are not planning to control a soldier manually, then definitely level meditation because it will be worth it. Make sure to pay attention to your meditation though. So this one here just finished his meditation and now it's at 100. After this, training meditation doesn't do anything anymore. So it's just a waste of time. So keep track of this and then immediately lower this bar and then start uh, training whatever stat you want. But at least do not put any more effort into meditation. Tip number six, you can actually rearrange your gladiators. And this is very helpful because, for example, your architect, when it makes a palis or gather stones or dig hot coal pit in order to improve the training times of your gladiators, then he will start on the left top and then go row by row. So now none of the gladiators can actually use this. So in order to do that, you can click and hold one of these gladiators. Except this one is not reacting. Here we go. You can hold it and then put it there and then hold this one and put it there. So you can rearrange your gladiators in order to be in a certain position where you want them to be. Tip number seven, make sure to bribe both the magistrate and the legate as much as possible. You can bribe them with wine. So if you click on them, you can say here, send wine. And as you can see here, I have 135. So if I click on this, now he would want two to be properly bribed. So never mess with this because it actually tells you how much he would accept in order to kind of go up in happiness because if you give less than that he actually will not be happy so then send wine again so it doubles again to 4 8 16 32 and now i would need 64 which is still fine but now it suddenly says 8 and that's because i only have 8 so i would actually need 128 so make sure when the number you see here is the same as the number of wine you have don't click on send wine because basically you will only send 8 and he will be very unhappy because he expected 128 so yeah make sure to always have more wine than the number that it actually says here the reason you want to bribe both as much as possible is whenever you have to fight a match it's either hosted by the legate or by the magistrate and if you are on good standing with them they will give you better matches for example here this is a completely unfair match but it's very nice for me because here is one gladiator and i am allowed to take seven gladiators so all my bad gladiators that don't even wear any armor at the moment, if they survive this, they will all get a lot of levels. So it's really nice to be in good standing because the fights will generally be much more in your favor than if you are on bad standing with them. Tip number eight is a bit related to the previous tip. Uh, in order to buy wine, you have to go to the city marketplace. And as you can see at the moment, there is one wine here. If I buy this, then at the moment there is no wine there. So if we then pass the time a bit, There's one day, and now you can see that has one wine added to the city market. However, if we wait a bit longer, now it's day three, as you can see, then there's two wine. If we wait another day, here we go then you can see that there's still only two wine and two is the maximum that can be in a city market so make sure to always come here and buy it because otherwise you're just wasting a lot of resources because the wine is really good to have tip number nine the temperament of your gladiator will affect his stats so make sure to always reward him a little bit in order to get this higher because it really will help out and it's very cheap as you can see here i only need one coin and as you can see at the moment i have 68 70 65 and he is encouraged if we reward him suddenly we have 73 73 73 68 because he's happy so Try to get them as happy as possible because, well, it will help you in the fights because they have higher stats. It doesn't always work though. As you can see here at the moment, I just don't have very good returns anymore. So now he probably just needs to win a match or something like that in order to become more happy. To the other, on the other side of the coin, if they're very unhappy because they got beaten in a match or something like that, then sometimes rewarding them doesn't help at all and you just have to wait for a little bit. 
Tip number 10. Sometimes it's good to lose a match on purpose. If you keep winning all the time, your opponents will be more and more difficult. And then at some point you're going to run into trouble. So sometimes just in the middle of the game, you just want to pick some gladiators that, well, you send to their death or something like that. But you just kind of lose the match and that will help you win your next matches with the gladiators which you actually want to win with. Alright, these were my 10 tips for new players. I hope you found them useful and see you next time.